Well, here's something that I did a, uh, a research a while ago when I was on gift card forms before I got banned. Uh, yeah, don't ask. This is another one of the many places. What bottle? Siggy's bag, so is an old gene clean on your own that oh, little bit, one green bottle the way forward. This was something I looked into when I started, when I was drinking out plastic bottles all the time. Um, like you'd buy a water bottle or a juice bottle and then you'd, you'd reuse it, you know, fill it up with water and you keep using it and using it and using it. And then you just start getting this weird wanky taste in your mouth, like plastic, as if it's breaking off in your in your mouth. And I found out that they're... Uh, that they do, that they're only one-use bottles. You're just supposed to uh, drink out of them and throw them away. They're not meant to be refilled up. One of the things that bugged me about it is looking around the school playgrounds. All the kids are being given these bottles and refilled with juice and water day after day after day by the parents, and they don't know any fucking different. And I forwarded some of this information to uh, some of the schools. They didn't do fuck all, so they don't really fucking give a shit. They didn't, didn't put it into a leaflet or anything, didn't hand it out to the... Uh, to the parents, didn't ask me to come in and do a talk about it, nothing. So looking back on this, there's some links here. This is the thing that really started to bug me as well, was things like uh, SIG. SIG actually lied. They, they blatantly lied about the BPA in their fucking bottles. You know, make it out of what you will, but to me that really pissed me off. So I looked around a few more ditching like uh, stuff. I'll stick all these links in the um, uh, in the box. Shit, I can't think and fucking read. I'll put some links in there. In the end, I ended up going with a, uh, a metal bottle from, uh, I think it might have been one green bottle. Or, uh, yeah, I'll put that up on the screen in a second, the bottle that I've got. That's my main go-to bottle, stainless steel. Uh, plastic, obviously, on my bicycle. I've done a few reviews of that, of those bottles that I use. And a quick buyer's guide, stainless steel is your friend. Be careful with threaded inserts in the neck of the bottle. Some use copper. You know, this was posted back in 2011. So that's five years ago. Maybe it's not. Maybe they don't use the, the copper insert anymore. But I'd be very careful because I went and bought one from uh, a shop. I can't remember. A TK Maxx. And that had a copper insert in it, and that was the National Trust in the UK. They've got something called the National Trust, and that had a copper lining in it from that. So I uh, I got my money back on that. They were very good about it, but they still sold it afterwards. This is not the be aware. Some use BPA screw tops, also not good. BPA is probably gone like so much, you know, since then. There was uh, so much uh, hoo ha about it that people stopped there. Uh, you know, the manufacturers stopped using it. But I'll still be careful with plastic wherever you can because they just put in something else that they know is fucking bad. You know, look at the cigarette and the cigarette industry. They knew that smoking was bad for a long time. They still fucking kept saying it was good. They still fucking swept it under the carpet for profits. The same happened with BPA, like I said. Sig, I won't even fucking touch Sig. I won't even fucking go anywhere near their products because they fucking lied. You know, you, you just do that once, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. Not fucking happening again. So, most containers, pipe work and food contact equipment is stainless steel is manufactured from either 304 or 316 stainless. And that's what you want. 304 is common through industry, particularly in food processing, as the material is not susceptible to corrosion from acids found in common foodstuffs. As a consequence, such steel is ideal for items such as sinks, Work surface preparation areas and refrigerators. It's also a perfect material for use in the pharmaceutical industry for environments such as clean rooms. If they're using it, you know it's good shit. Stainless steel, stainless steel bottle is your friend. And there's some comments on there. Down there you can uh, have a read if you want of free bottles. Free bottle? Fucking reading bottles, not safe on the thing. It's uh, three pages long. I'll stick with those in there. That's the gist of it. Don't trust plastic. Don't keep reusing those plastics. If you see kids in the playground, mothers giving their fucking, or your neighbours giving those uh, plastic bottles to their kids day after day, reusing and refilling them up, tell them to stop. Tell them that it's all breaking up inside and the kids are fucking drinking it. It's not fucking healthy. They're only one-use bottles. 